cue Sega Genesis drum roll. Select your music, hop on your motorcycle, and prepare for the ride of your life. This is Super Hang On. The Yu Suzuki Sega Arcade Classics like Super Hang On and OutRun never get old because they have excellent gameplay, terrific style, and a longevity that makes this game hold up 20 years after its release. This came out on the Sega Genesis 1989 and is still incredibly fun to pick up and play today. I had such a great time playing Super Hang On again, it had been several years since I played it. I dove right into the arcade mode, which is the best mode in the game in my opinion. There's an arcade mode and an original mode. The arcade mode is, like it sounds, an arcade racing mode where you have to beat the clock through numerous checkpoints or else you lose. The bike handles well, the music is fun, the whole game is uplifting, cheerful, and man, it's super hang on. When they put the super in front of it though, it does lose that directive, that order or command that the original Hang On had. Like I said in the Sega Master System review of Hang On, it's as if the game is yelling at you to hang on. Super Hang On, in my opinion, is kind of a lame title. I think they could have had something else, like Hang On or Die, or Clutch the Handlebars for Dear Life. Maybe Super Hang On just rolls off the tongue better, but doesn't it sound like it should be a Super Nintendo game? This is one of those early Genesis or Mega Drive games that's easy to find today, very affordable, and is as much fun now as it was 20 years ago. At its heart, this is a more advanced version of Hang On, the popular Sega arcade game, and Super Hang On made its debut in the arcades as well. The big difference between the home console versions, at least, I reviewed Hang On for the Sega Master System, which is a terrific Master System game. Here in Super Hang On, not only do you get the original mode, which I'll talk about in a moment, but you get four different difficulties, or four different races in the arcade mode, which, which is great. You race in Africa, Asia, Europe, and North and South America, aka the New World. But no Antarctica. Everybody always forgets about our friends on the South Pole. I bet if you put some spikes on those motorcycles and equipped them with flamethrowers, they'd go through the snow quite well. And you could also light your competitors on fire. Super hang on while engulfed in flames. You know, people are talking about Sega getting back into the hardware race. I think that's a terrific launch title for whatever the new Sega game console may or may not be. The Sega Genesis X14B12 comes packed in with Super Hang On While Engulfed in Flames and The Revenge of Shinobi. Be a good game. You could just picture like the guys riding their motorcycles while on fire screaming the entire time. You could get a whole music soundtrack like the Cult's Firewoman and uh, Rock Me Amadeus, which has nothing to do with fire, but it would be great on a soundtrack and I can't think of any other uh, songs that have fire in them at the moment. Uh, really, what game wouldn't be enhanced with the rocking tunes of Falco's masterpiece, Rock Me Amadeus? Back to this game, you have four music tracks, my favorite title of which being Outride a Crisis. That sounds like a rap song from DMX. That'd be so cool if... Uh, Alright, picture the soundtrack with DMX and Warrant together. It would be like the Judgment Night soundtrack where you had the Booyah Tribe and Faith No More. 
The original mode in this game seemed a lot cooler 20 years ago, and it's very similar to what you see in Super Monaco GP where you win races, earn money, and then you can upgrade your bike. What you saw on screen was me actually entering a code that I found online just to get all the money that I could get. So feel free to copy that code because when you get into the original mode and play the game at first, your bike handles like a ton of bricks. And it's really not that much fun. The arcade mode is, is the way to go because it's fast, it's fun, your bike is already maxed out. You have that turbo, and I think that's what that's called, but when you get up to top speed you can then hold down one of the buttons and you get turbo just like you have in Rad Racer. Winning the arcade mode is not easy. You have to constantly be moving as fast as possible using turbo at every opportunity and absolutely don't run into anything. You can bump a few bikes. That's not going to knock you off your bike or, or, or uh, cause an explosion. Just don't run into any signs or trees or rocks because that's very bad. And that's true in real life as well. I, I, when I was a kid, I crashed my bicycle into a rock, and that hurt like hell, let alone being on a motorcycle at 200 miles an hour. And there you have Super Hang On, proving that the word Super goes with Hang On, just like Sega goes with Arcade Driving Game, just like you goes with Suzuki, just like Helmet goes with House of Pain from the Judgment Night soundtrack. Terrible movie, great soundtrack. <laughs>